It's been ranked the world's most livable city since 2011. It's the creative hub of Australia's globally respected film and TV industry, and where Hollywood comes to produce movies. Creativity is big business here and contributes to giving the nation's second biggest city the fastest growing population in the country. They say if Sydney is the movie, then Melbourne is the book. Melbourne is an artsy powerhouse with a vibrant and multicultural soul. Not only is it known as Australia's cultural hotspot, it's also famous for its high rising city centre, its cafe society, creative types, and its graffiti. A strong sense of community ownership and DIY ethic exists amongst street artists in Melbourne. Many galleries in the city centre and inner suburbs have started to exhibit this work, and leading international graffiti masters such as Banksy have made their mark on these streets. Throughout the 1970s and 80s, the inner city's rebellious youth were influenced by the graffiti of New York, which subsequently became very popular in Melbourne's inner suburbs. In fact, this city was the first to embrace this creative expression. And while public and locals alike may view the act of tagging as vandalism, street art, well, they view it as an art form. These works reflect how Melbourne's flourishing. During the world financial crisis, more new jobs were created here than anywhere in the country. And the business which assisted in that growth was Mimco, one of Australia's leading accessories brands. Formed 18 years ago, this local icon has grown immeasurably with a range of accessible luxury designs that aim to make a woman stand out in the crowd. This is cute. I mean, there's so much to choose from here. Sunglasses, headscarves, necklaces, earrings, the list is just endless. I feel like a kid in a candy store. And if you know me, I'm all about the statement necklace. So let's see if they have any here. The brand designs in collections. So once you've found the purse or leather statement bag, you'll find the necklace and the hat or scarf to match. These stores are getaways where women can experiment, mixing the eclectic with the simple, the sophisticated with the quirky. Love it. It's beautiful. It's very, very nice. I love it. It's so me. Now that I've found my perfect statement neck piece, let's go meet the genius behind this amazing brand. Their design ethos is to be relevant but never a slave to trends. Working under the guidance of Catherine Wills, they create two major collections a year. And Banang arrived at the ideal time to see the range they're exporting to our shores as it neared completion. Catherine, lovely to be here. What makes Mimco so unique in terms of an accessories offerings point of view? I think the fact that it's so opinionated. It's very individual. It's definitely not a shy product. We use a lot of uh, colourful materials, we use a lot of beautiful kinetic beads, oversized hardware. Um, it's definitely very individual and that makes it stand out to, to our customers who love it. So what is the design process? I mean, from concept all the way through to production? It starts with an idea, um, you know, an era, a mood, a song, art, anything that sort of comes to mind that's feeling right at the time. And then we build our visuals, we build a lot of um, you know, mood boards, we collect a lot of materials, you know, we prototype all of our jewellery in-house. The team starts sketching, they sketch the hardware, they sketch the bags, um, and then we start sampling. So it's very much a labour of love. But let me show you around the rest of the office so you can see how it all comes together. Once they have their mood, they work on the raw materials together. Hunting for these will take them to the leather fair in Italy and jewellery fairs in Hong Kong. They also love to collect vintage bits and pieces, all of which feature in the collection. So here we have all the chains and the beads and some of our archive pieces for jewellery. Um, and then we have a lot of our bead selection that we've got for our April, May 2014 collection. Fantastic. Collected. But looking at all of this, it means all your jewellery is in handmade. Very much so, yes. So we sample and design it all in-house and then it is all very much handmade at the manufacturing base. So stones are inlaid, everything's cast from a gorgeous sketch that Alicia works on. It's, 
As I said, it's a labour of love all the way through. <laughs> I'd love to work here, but what's the design team loving at the moment? Uh, you're very much going to see an old Hollywood meets 1970s vibe. So our season is called Memoirs of a Fictionatrix, Ooh. which will be what we launch with in South Africa. So we're very excited about it. So let me show you the mock shop so you can see a little bit of the product that we've got coming through for launch. Can't wait. Okay. Catherine's inspiration can be seen in the unique designs that draw on her love of Hollywood icons, nature, and a childhood spent dressing up with her two older sisters, who inspired her with their style and hairdos. This is like heaven for me. <laughs> but what would you say are the key pieces to have this season? Well, we have lots. I love all of them. Uh, so we have our Victorian hobo. So this, believe it or not, is probably erring on the more classic side of our collection. Um, from a signature point of view, we're very much known for black with rose gold hardware. Our customer loves it. So you've got the croco emboss, but then you've got the quirky factor with the chain closure. Um, really fits a lot in, beautiful slouchy bag. What's your favorite piece from this collection? Well, it's going to seem quite simple, but I actually love our sports stud embellished pouches. They're lightweight, they're fantastic for evening, but they're also great just in your handbag as well. Just for a bit of bling. You can put your iPad in there. Really beautiful in a couple of different colours. So yes, that's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the South African fashionistas going to love about Mimco? Well, I'm really hoping that it's going to be exactly what we love about it here, which is, you know, those that value individuality and eclecticism, those that love just updating their outfit with a beautiful accessory, be it a killer necklace, an amazing pair of heels, a great day bag or a clutch. So, uh, you know, I think it's going to be really exciting to come in and explore and actually have a bit of a play and lose yourself in there. <laughs> Being in the same hemisphere, with similar climates, South Africans and Australians have a shared sense of style. The visiting design team, led by Catherine, were excited by the label's launch in Cape Town. With its positioning being so unique, so designed, there was certainly a very big gap in the market and it's got a true cult following in Australia. We see that exact opportunity here in South Africa. It's, it's an out there brand, it's a fun brand, it's a sexy brand and I, I think it'll translate very well in this market. Titi, you are one of the most celebrated fashion bloggers, a stylist, you know, a fashion commentator. So what do we think of Mimco? Will you be sourcing stuff from them? Um, I won't be sourcing stuff from them. I'll be wearing stuff from Mimco. There's like necklaces there that you can wear more than one way. Like, you know how I am. Like, I love anything that you can repurpose and wear more than one way. The designer's confidence in their collection is well placed. Editor Danielle Weekly left them in no doubt about that. I don't think there's much of an affordable accessories option in South Africa. I love the bags, I love the shoes, and the costume jewellery for me was really a key piece. It's a huge trend for winter. The statement necklaces and all those beautiful jewel colours, and I'm a sucker for enamel jewellery, yeah. so a hit for me. Expanding style through the Southern Hemisphere, Australian brand Mimco is now available here in South Africa, exclusive to Woolworths.